Hey everybody, how you doing? It's Bruce here with Traveling with Bruce. Are you ready for some trivia? We're going back in time, baby. Uh, you got to tell me the name of some of these cruise ports we're going to be taking a look at. By the way, thank you for subscribing to my channel and giving my videos thumbs ups. They mean a lot to me. I really appreciate it. Let's get going. Let's go back in time when getting there was half the fun, as Cunard used to say. This is the days before jet travel, of course, and you know, you weren't anybody unless you were seen with people like this. If you were on a cruise ship or an ocean liner, you wanted to be seen with those who should be seen. Look at the opulence of the dining room. Wow, what a time this was. Of course, before the jets, this is how you cross the Atlantic, and uh, you use cruise liners, ocean liners, to get from point A to point B. But here's a place that I wonder if you know where this is. Do you know what this place is called right here? <clears throat> These are pictures from the 30s. What is the name of this cruise port? Uh, I'll give you a hint. It's a very busy place today, and it looks a lot different than that now. It looks a lot more like this, but even this is an old picture. Another hint, it is the world's busiest cruise port now. And if you guessed Miami, you were right. And I'll tell you, with Miami, you got to take a picture of the port every year because the changes are just astounding. Uh, there's no standing still. Now, here's another cruise port where the Queen Elizabeth came in in 1970. Can you tell me the name of this place? Here's a picture from the 20s of this cruise port. It looks kind of like that, but a lot different than that today. A uh, very busy place. Here's a shot from probably the 40s or 50s. And, uh, well, here are a couple of pictures that are a little more, let's say, uh, recent. Uh, this one here might be a bit of a misleading photo, but if you've been here, you'll know what this port is uh, from the look of that, uh, the trees and the buildings all around. Here's a modern-day shot. We're talking Fort Lauderdale or Port Everglades in Fort Lauderdale, third busiest in the world. Now, here, this one's tough to hide. I mean, this is a cruise port where if you were interested in ocean liners and you wanted to see the, the most expensive and largest ships in the world, you had to come to this place and you would not be disappointed. If you could hang around here for a couple of weeks, you would see the world's most luxurious and glamorous cruise ships. I'm talking, of course, of New York City. Uh, today, uh, cruise ships use this port, but nowhere like the transatlantic ocean liners used to. Those days are gone. Now, where are we now? What cruise port is this? Uh, it's kind of like a Golden Gate Bridge over there, kind of. And what kind of a cruise port in today's world would use a sprung structure like that as part of its uh, cruise facility. Uh, there's only one place. Uh, they do have a, a terminal building covered in solar panels, which is nice to see. There's that Golden Gate looking bridge, but this is not San Francisco. Uh, if you guessed Los Angeles, you would be correct. This is the port of Los Angeles. And you can see as it zooms in, there's the uh, port facility right in the middle. Kind of hard to detect. This. Now, where is this? Uh, there's a Golden Gate looking bridge, but this is not San Francisco either. This is a picture from about the 50s. Uh, here are some modern day photos of this incredibly beautiful place. A lot of tours take place from here in the summertime. Not very many in the winter, if, as a matter of fact, none in the winter. This is a summer port only. It is Vancouver, British Columbia. If you're going to go to Alaska, there are two ports you start from, basically. It's either Seattle or it's Vancouver. I'd have to say Vancouver is a little more spectacular looking than Seattle, but nothing wrong with Seattle. Nice town, but Vancouver's pretty cool. Now, here is the Pacific Princess, the love boat. Remember the love boat? Where is the love boat in this picture? Uh, here's another photo of another ship. There's that bridge over there that should give it away. Back in the 50s and 60s, that was the uh, one of the things that you came and took a picture of, was this bridge right here. Uh, but as time was on, went on, we came into uh, into the 70s and 80s. You started taking pictures of another item, not just that bridge on the left, but over on the right, that funny-looking building over there. That's right, the Sydney Opera House. This is Sydney Harbor in Australia, down under one of my bucket list places to go to. What beautiful, beautiful shots. Now, this place coming up right here, 
Where is this? Uh, this these are shots from about the 50s and 60s. Uh, camel uh, cigarette ad up there on top of the building. Uh, uh, here's another angle of this port uh, and this uh, terminal building with these old ships around it. Where are we? Uh, maybe this will help you a little bit. This shot right here. Uh, this is kind of a modern day shot of the place. Uh, the terminal now is at the end of this long piece of land. And uh, let me give you a little help with this uh, long piece of land. See that? That used to be a runway. This is the runway, the old runway for the Hong Kong Airport. And when they shut down this airport, they built a brand new one. They put this cruise terminal on the end of it and they're converting the entire spit of land into light industrial and other areas. They're in the heart of Hong Kong. Uh, someday I'd love to get here when things settle down over there. Beautiful, beautiful place. Alrighty, uh, one more. Uh, this is our last one. What port is this right here? It's world famous. It's been used for, gosh, over a hundred years. Um, these ships right here felt right at home coming back uh, after their uh, their Atlantic crossings. They would come in here and feel right at home. The Queen Mary, this is her home port. And uh, look at that car. You can give you an idea how bold this picture is. Uh, <laughs> how about this shot right here? Here's another shot of the Queen Mary from the other end. Uh, you can just make it out. It's Southampton in the United Kingdom. Southampton's port. It's gone under a lot of changes. It's constantly being modernized, which is nice to see. Modern day cruise ships, of course, are using Southampton all the time. How did you do? There were seven of them. How many did you get? Uh, look at the advertising here. As the jets were taking over the cruise lines, we were trying to get the executives to take a week off your schedule and come across the Atlantic on a ship and relax. Don't just fly over in six hours and be harried for your business meeting. Come on over and take five days. And same thing on the way back. Bring the wife. Things have changed. Uh, but what can I say? Uh, these cruise ports are still alive today. And they're still being utilized. Some more than before. Some less than before. Certainly Miami. Port, uh, Fort Lauderdale. Which is Port Everglades. Those two have really stepped up their business. But uh, New York. Not as much. Southampton. Not as much as before but still iconic ports from which to travel from. Uh, thank you for, for joining me today. I hope you enjoyed these uh, this trivia. I'm going to try and do some more for you. We'll do other types of trivia questions and put them on the channel, see how uh, sharp you are and how many you can guess uh, at one time. Here's another picture of that Hong Kong port. It's pretty stylistic, isn't it? Kind of cool. A lot of money pumped in here. The Hong Kong uh, government really is going after the cruise business in a big way, and they're putting in the ultra-modern facilities. Hmm, kind of neat. Uh, a couple more pictures before we go. On the left is uh, uh, Southampton. On the right is the Queen Mary in Dry Dock in Southampton uh, because these ocean liners had to occasionally get serviced, and uh, Southampton is where it used to get done. Not anymore, but in the old days, that's the way it was. Thanks for joining me today, everybody. Have a good one. Bye for now.